Okay, for the second piece here, um, I am still on top of, the, of my little step stool and I'm getting in as close as I can, right? But I wanted to point out to you something that I should be also doing. And I'm gonna have to do this as a little separate little film, but notice like how much white, you know, how much of the table you can see around my little painting, right? So I really should be turning my camera so that I can get as close a frame in as possible. And that way I can, you know, really maximize the digital quality and the pixels and all that kind of stuff. Um, so, cause I would be cropping out all of this table from it. So let me turn my camera and you'll see the difference. Okay, now I'm doing the same thing, except my camera is now in portrait mode instead of landscape mode. And so, uh, the portrait is, you know, like this, the landscape is long, like looking at a landscape. And now I can get a lot, lot closer to the, to the piece and I don't have to, um, crop out as much. Uh, so that means that I'm just going to have a higher quality image with more pixels and that kind of stuff. And I could do the same thing with, uh, you know, I'm tapping on my phone on various areas and you can see it's sort of lightening or darkening. Again, I'm going for more of a mid-tone effect. Um, and that's something I can definitely tweak in the photo, you know, photo albums. There's so many different programs you can use for that. They're just built into your phone. And I really prefer to keep that extremely simple. My rule of thumb is that if I have to do a lot of adjusting of the color or the lightness or the darkness, like beyond just a, maybe a little bit of a exposure or a little bit of a contrast or th something like that, uh, then that means I need to retake the photograph sad but true but that just is the the moment of just like okay suck it up and deal with it so uh again you know really trying to avoid that whole star wars effect that, that happens either way um trying to have it as straight looking really looking and being very holding holding myself with a lot of integrity and again too you can you got to be paying attention to the left right as well as the up and the down okay um, but that said, once you kind of get in the practice of looking for that, like right now I'd be like clicking away, um, then that just goes a long, long way towards, uh, helping your photographs look better. Okay. So this is the last painting. Uh, it's, uh, I believe 16 inches by 20 inches. And, um, again, I'm on top of this little stool here. Um, because it's a little bit larger, I actually do have to be a little more careful about how the light is falling on it. So you can see on the on the right hand side, it's looking a little darker to me than on the left. And you can really tell because the table behind, you know, that it's on, you can see how, the, how dark the table on the right hand side looks compared to the, the left hand side. So I'm going to just kind of scooch it over a little bit and try to get some more even lighting. Now, of course, my tripod is getting in the way, um, but that that gives you an idea. And this is, you know, and how you can kind of zoom in. I would just remove the, the tripod from the ceiling normally for this one. Um, but this is also a good candidate to take uh, this, this painting outside uh, where I can have more light, more evenness and all that kind of thing. One of the things that's really nice about all of these things is that none of them have any kind of gloss or clear coat or they're not framed, they're not under glass. So, uh, you know, the worst is when you have to photograph something that is under glass. And I hate to say this because I've been there. The, the best thing you can do for the best results is to uh, photograph, take them outside out of the out of the frame, out of the mat, and photograph them and put them back. Um, I've done that. However, I know that sometimes that, for whatever reason, is not something you feasibly want to do or physically can do or whatever. So I'm going to give you a few tips for that 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 awful situation. Um, all right, so we will continue on in a minute.